All right, so you guys heard it here first. If you're watching this video, again, thank you for rocking with the channel. This is just a reminder for people that might not know, which some people don't. Our channel uploads its videos all in numeric order. That's why there's numbers in front of them and it's all chronological to date. So all the videos do have a date in the beginning of the description. It's the very first thing. It's six digits that tell you the date of when that video happened. And as the numbers correspond, the dates keep moving forward. But if you're watching this video, this is a vibe check and vibe checks are usually uploaded closer to the date that the video was recorded. So that's what you're watching right now and uh, it's just an important message to y'all. If you guys really rock with the channel and believe in what we're about and understand, you know, what we're putting out and you want to help support it, we do have a Patreon that we just started that has um, pictures and full write-ups and blogs and stuff and we're going to continue to keep putting stuff out that you won't see on Instagram or YouTube or anywhere else. We just want to say thank you to anyone who rocks with us. As of right now, um, I do believe in the channel. I do believe in the people that rock with the channel, including yourself. So um, if you guys would, you know, support us through Patreon, it's broken up into two tiers. The $3 mark is just for anyone that, you know, wants to say thank you and help support this to continue going and kind of help us continue. And then the $6 mark is also same thing. You're still getting the same amount of videos as everyone else is getting for free, except that six a month gets you more exclusive stuff. I don't want to get into it too much, but again, if you do rock with it and believe in what we're doing, I'd really appreciate it. You guys mean more to me than any dollar amount ever will. And that's exactly why I work so hard on getting all this stuff out, you know, every week for you guys. It's clearly not for money because I'm not making much whatsoever, but it fills my soul And if you believe in the overall message that is conveyed through these hundreds of videos that are being put out You're really a part of something bigger. So we want to keep this going and again, thank you guys And I hope you guys enjoy this video Essentially, this is supposed to be at the end of the video, but I'm starting the video here just for context It is Saturday. Wait, July 22nd, right? It's Saturday, July 22nd. Right yeah, hold on. I should have started off there. Hold it's on. Saturday. Dig fast forward. Um, this is, I'm going to put this clip in the beginning of the video because Jason just sold his bike on the vlog timeline, but here it is right now. I'm jumping this forward. It is back. It is back. <laughs> now, this is a vibe check. Whatever just took place today, I want everyone to watch it and like know what's going on. Um, with the channel, um, long story short, we started a Patreon. The way to support the channel is to just watch the videos and, you know, join the Patreon for certain videos. But, um, yeah, we'll just keep it going. Oh, actually, no, the video is going to start now. My bad, cut, right. cut. Yeah, 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 you, you guys will see. The power of perspective is what I call this video. It really is a power of perspective. So. Jason always gotta have the nice shoes on, man. Is that the green shoes? I saw that. Big shoes, come on, man. Big shoes. I'm gonna shake him down real fast. I know he's got much. I'm gonna yeah, shake get him down. His lunch money. Give up the money, man, right now. Lunch money. <laughs> he wants your lunch money, bro. Give me that money. What you got on my 40? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you fucking No, I don't like that, man. I don't like that, right? I don't like that. Alright, so. I'm talking out loud, y'all do your thing. Oh, actually, what's up, brother? Good. Yeah. How are you? Did you wake up early today? No, no I actually slept in today. You what? I slept in today. Right. All right, guys. So today I have to go sell some stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna get into it unless you're on the Patreon, then you understand what's going on here. But I brought some stuff with me that I had sitting in the room that I listed for sale, and I'm gonna go deliver some stuff. Right? Yeah. Right now, financially, instead of just saying like, "Hey, guys, I'm hurting on money." I'm buckling down, being mature, and uh, finding a way to make ends meet. So it was cool that I'm able to help people out get some parts for some good deals and deliver them. And they're helping uh, help me keep the tank full and the roof on our heads. So right now we have to drop this stuff off. Or one piece we're dropping off to Westminster. Another one later, uh, someone in Anaheim is about to be off work. I think he wanted some risers. Um, Irvin's here. It's a nice sunny day. And Jason just got here. So we're gonna cruise, drop that part off, and then see where the day takes us, so. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, you wanna help out? You wanna help me out? Oh, Maybe you receive, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, wait, what are you talking about? God knows what you need. Man. You know, and this might be what it, it is what it is. That's what I say, you know. It, Trust me, man. I'm I'm going through it right now too. Well, then, then maybe you can help me and and you receive what you need. Like we're one for each other, you know, looking out for each other. I know what I'm talking about. It, to me, it's like giving people opportunities. Yeah. It's my spirit, kind of like my life. Yeah, that's just the way it is. I'm giving so so 
some facts of life right now. I get you, man. Thanks for recording right now. Yeah, yeah, but no, but um, dude, would, I mean, camera on or off, man? Like, do you want me to get you some, like a thing of water at least, man? Cause it's hot, bro. No, I need two dollars. Dude, I mean, I don't even have like, I literally deposit like what? I would know. I accept anything that you give, man. Dude, man, I'm tr trust me. I, I don't want to get emotional, but. Financially, I am not doing great whatsoever. I believe, you. I believe you. But man, you know what? I know that I'm, you know, in yeah. comparison, bro, you probably need more than I do right now. Let me get you something, man. Water I, I, let's do it. and let's food, do it. man. I got you, bro. Let's go. Hard, but yeah. No, you're, you're good, bro. Everything good? Um, If there's questions, I won't be able to ask. No, no I'm not going to dig all deep, uh, man. I'm just going to be myself kind of without disrespect. No, you're good. You're good. Thank you. There you go. And I'd, okay, so like you said, I asked you. I didn't want right. to, you know, intrude. But um, man, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't want to ask about the full background or anything. Oh, mm -hmm. we'll go over here. Yeah, okay, but like, go ahead and ask, ask away, man. Yeah, um, dude, I'm not gonna ask how you got here or what's going on. But I just want to let you know, man, in in whatever situation you're going through, I'm not. And anyone who's watching this knows too. Like, I'm not doing great financially either. But I always tell myself at the end of the day someone's got it worse and likewise to yourself there's there's millions of people buried six feet deep wishing they could be you right now you know the, what I, the way i understand it the way i hear it i sacrificed my life for the people i gave my life i gave everything that i could possibly be mm -hmm. the rock bottom of my life was being naked cold and hungry in those three at the same time that was the person for for quite some time, uh, cold, naked, and hungry. And um, that was my rock bottom, man. Uh, from, from giving my life, that's when God said, okay, boom, you gave your life. And uh, you, you sacrificed your body uh, for people's belief. For whatever reason that the people have, uh, we, need, we need a purpose, you know? The, yes. the reason with purpose. Uh, the purpose is to see God work. You know, he, he is the example of what we need to do in this world as, as humans. Yes. You know, why he created us. We need to know the reason why we were created and, and be able to, to see God. That's why we're, you know, people are, are living that, that look, that, that see, and, and understand that when you see God, see him work. Try and see yes. God. No, nothing else but God. When you see God and, and, and learn, from his uh, example, that's what we have to do. It gives us an idea, and everybody receives differently, but that's exactly what you need to receive, uh, that difference, and everybody fills in that peace, and, and, and God finally gets to live. And you know what, some people might not be able to see that with all the distractions they have going on in their life, but when the, the less you have, the more you can see and that's why, man, like... Yeah, yeah that's crazy. <laughs> bro, I, man, yeah. that's... Yeah, because... It, dude, it's because you, you disconnect to, to the world, to every every person and everything in this world, and, 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 and you, it's only left with you. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're the only one left. Everything else was separated, and you're like, no, mm -hmm, no. Mm -hmm. But it has to be uh, disconnected so that way you can start all over. Yes. What took your life away will now give you your life back. Beautiful way to put it, man. I... Trust me, man. I, I'm here right now just because I had to go sell some parts, uh, you know, to someone just to, you know, make ends meet. My, do my, I'll be transparent. My bills are paid, um, rent is paid, and I only have so much just till a complete month later. So I wanted to make it work. But right now, this part that I'm selling, I'm letting you know right now. I, yeah. I already told my friends, yeah. this is just to have, just in case. But when I seen you, you know, asking for whatever help you can get, and you weren't asking for a vague amount of money or like, you know, because you don't know what people spend it on. The fact you're able to take the food and the drink and the water to help you with whatever endeavors you got to face ahead of you, man, like it's, this is priceless to me, man. You, you talking about purpose, it's coming back around and I, I appreciate the interaction, man, really. From here on, from here on, your life is, is completely different. It, it changed. It did. It changed. <sighs> it's not, it's not that life anymore. The past is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. Today's a gift we call presence. It is. It is, man. And, and I, I guarantee you, and I say it with palabra, with word, you know? And, and, and that word, you know, being used in the experience to the moment right now, it's never going to be the same. It will not. It changed. So, so you, welcome to uh, 
Uh, part two, you could say. Oh. Yeah, the, the man has to control this. Man. I needed that more than you know, man. Thank <laughs> you so much, man. I, me and my buddy is going to shake, but you take care and stay strong like that. I know you are, man. Right. Seriously, Thanks, man. Bro. God's got a plan, brother. Amen. Take Amen. care. I get it, but I'm yeah. like, yo. So he was just saying, like, you know, he was being vague, but he just said, if you bless me, absolutely, God will bless absolutely, you. Absolutely. Oh, okay, yeah, because bro, what just happened right now was wild. Like, I mean, uh, whatever. The camera scene, it's all cut it, and we'll just continue our day. But um, few moments later. Hey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so for context, so after that great interaction with a guy with a longer hair, some random guy goes up to us. What does he say right now? He's like, "Yo, man, yeah, twenty, because I need to buy drugs." Just straight up. Yeah. And he was like, straight "Yeah." Up, he's like, "I can't I keep like, coming what? here and back. Uh, I can't I come back." I need to buy it in quantity. Yeah. And I was like, "Dude, like what?" Yeah, see, and that's the, the difference. The guy was asking for $2 just yeah. to, you know, make it through the day. This guy just yeah. wanted drugs. 20 for and drugs. And then this guy offered a new magic to You know what? Make yourself fucking disappear. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, Irvin. We out here. We're going to Westminster. Let's sell this. Let's sell this. Let me sell this part and uh, it was called a day right there for this like video. Go so when you take the 405, uh -huh. you, you'll see it. It's like there's 54. I think. Yeah, the 74. The 74. Yeah. So you'll see Ortega, San Juan Capistrano. Yeah. Right there, you'll see Ortega Highway. And, uh, oh, take right that on. road all the way up. Busted left. It'll take you all the way to the 15. It'll take you to uh, Lake Elsinore. Yeah. Oh, nice. So okay. You got a nice view going down the down mountain. Yeah, you do, but you got kind of stick close to the, you know. Yeah. I, I'm assuming a lot of sport bike guys do that. Yes. For sure. Yeah, or a lot of fast guys. <laughs> I've seen a couple. Like Harleys, Harleys yeah. and stuff. Right on. Well, do, do you yourself ride or? Yeah. Never thought about it at all even? Oh yeah, when I was younger I did. Yeah, wait, did you actually ride when you were younger? Or you always crossed your mind? Yeah. <laughs> I was one of those guys like, oh, that's a cool bike. I'm like, oh, I never did. Well, uh, did your son ever ride down here? Or no, not he, yet? He just got it. Oh, he just got it, okay. He's still working on it. Okay, I was gonna say, well, once it shows up at your house, take it for a spin, right? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> hey, better late than never. What, do you get a sports uh, car? It's a Harley. It's just, uh, Probably similar to these. Yeah. A sports shoe, that's cool. And uh, cause I tried it one time and I was, my buddy had a real modified and whatever he had on there, he did his yeah. tank and everything. And I tried it and I guess, um, I, instead of hitting the brakes, I did, I hit the clutch. No. Oh. And then when you let go. Well, no, I, I was, I was slowing down and oh. I was trying to slow down, but and then the bike leaned over and there was like this giant step and I tried to keep the bike from getting damaged. Uh -huh. So I put kind of my leg kind of in, in oh. between. And then putting a dent in his tank. Oh. <laughs> so Dang. I was like, it's all right. <laughs> he just bonded it. Wow. But yeah, man. Other than that, it like, should be good. Hey, but I mean that's cool though. I mean if he find if your son finds his way down here with a bike, for sure he can give you a little rundown. He's actually my nephew. Nephew, nephew. Okay, okay. Your nephew. I hope that part gets on there, and then hopefully he makes his way down here with it when it's all done and throws that on there. Hey, San Diego. Yeah, San Diego. National City. Yeah. So a lot of guys go down there in like both Mesa area. Yeah. 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 All those roads on there, the 78, the 74, the 76. Yeah. All of them got a little bit of you know. Yeah. Curve but a lot of guys tend to go more east. Yeah. That's where the roads are, man. 
sure. Nice. Like they'll, they'll, they'll take uh, what's that, Queen Maga off the A. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that area. You know, it's a pretty good one too, it's a 78. It goes out to Julian. That was a pretty good ride too. And uh, El Cajon, there's that oh, Torch Antique. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. They like, the bikers like those areas because there's less traffic. Oh my god, tell us about yeah, it. You stop and go traffic all the time and just go and cruise and just enjoy the breeze. Yeah, a lot of people are fortunate to live in those areas because they could just turn on their bike and hit the road. Over here, it's like Tetris on the way out just to get onto a freeway yeah. that you have to get onto and fight for your life with cars going 100 and then you hit a nice road. And yeah. You get mad because you... Uh, Lane split? Yeah. Yeah, it, I know. That's what we try to highlight on the channel too is that like, you know, with what given situation we have, we try to make the best of it, but you know, everyone's got a different situation, yeah. so. Well, we gotta link split on our bikes though, because we'll burn up if we don't. Yeah, exactly, so. It helps in the day-to-day -day life, but it does come with a risk, for sure. So are they all the same? Yeah, these are actually the same motor, same chassis. Okay, but he doesn't have shots. Exactly, good eye. I was like, <laughs> You're like, what's going on here? Because I know the Harley has the, um, there are two models, one with the shocks and the one without the shocks. Yeah, it's the, um, but I it was like shovel. So, uh, the soft tail. Soft tail, yeah. Yeah, so this one is the same as ours, except he has a solid start he replaced it with, so now his butt hurts. <laughs> yeah, everything vibrates. <laughs> well, that's why they had the, the, the C with the little springs on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That he knows. At the very least, he has neither. I have none. It's my tailbone. Because <laughs> <laughs> when they had the soft tail, they weren't. Mm -hmm. We were just, we were sitting on them like that with big old handlebars, you know. And then people in the 70s, 60s, 70s, I think, when they started shopping. You're right. Were, were you born and raised in this area? San Diego County. So, oh, so, oh you, so you moved down here? Yeah, oh, okay. Here. San Diego County. What, in, in the time that you were there, were you seeing a lot of like custom bikes and stuff around? There were a few around. A few? But mostly because, uh, you know, there's a Navy base. Oh, yeah. And then there's Miramar. So a lot of bikers, you know. I guess. Yeah. And you go to Coronado Bridge, cross Coronado, to Coronado Island. Yeah. So. A little off the Seal Beach, right? Seal yeah. Beach it is. Yeah. yeah. Are they oh, still? You guys were heading out there. Yeah, that's why it was perfect. Get the zip ties yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, you want to stop by somewhere? It's uh, the Academy Crowds with it. Oh, just the ignition, uh, the actual module that came off. <laughs> just because oh. of the, the ring that was on the outside unscrewed. I just need like a zip tie to hold it in. Oh yeah, the actual one came off. Is that one gonna back it out? Oh, <laughs> I didn't no, notice that. The wrong side, Jay. No, oh, the, there's, there's, there's two rings. The other one, there's two rings. It's probably like a lock ring. Yeah, yeah. that'll work. He's a wizard. Oh, temporarily. He's a wizard. I mean, it's gonna hold it in place. It's here but... first, folks. <laughs> it's a good thing we met up with this guy. <laughs> we came up, we didn't come to sell anything to him. We came here to see if it fits us. So you can fix Jason's bike for him. There you go. It'll, Thank you. That'll do. Once you get the right adapter for it, yeah, then it'll stay in place when you turn it. But for now, that'll do. It's good enough. Good enough. <laughs> I got a pesky bolt over here that's not. <laughs> hey, next time, oh, we, next time we see him, he'll be on a chopper. <laughs> yeah, we're right here. Oh, hey, guys, check it out. I'm actually partial to like cafe racers. Oh, nice, oh, okay. beautiful. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I've seen a couple like those uh, Honda CBs. Yeah, great. Yeah. I mean, yeah. honestly, they're a beautiful factory, yeah. but just with a couple bells and whistles. There's a guy down the street who's got one, and he rides it every once in a while. Hey, that could be the one you make the offer on, because. <laughs> I'd rather build it myself. You know? There you go. I like that, man. It makes it worthwhile to put your your Absolutely. sweat. Oh, you know, dude. Work. I, that's what I was explaining to some of the guys because I have a bike that I did build years ago and I said two miles on a self-built bike feels way better than 20 miles on something you just bought. And yeah. it, it's a weird feeling, but I'm sure you get it, man. Yeah, because when I hit, when I, I used to drive a Volkswagen, a square oh, back, nice. a 1965 square back. The guy told it to me, no windows, no motor, no tranny, nothing. I went to junkyards, I put it back all together and I was riding, driving that sucker for a while. Um, you know, and then being able to build the motor from scratch, assembling it, and then be like, oh man, it works. Yeah. No Damn. And, and, and have all the tools. <laughs> and, you, and if something goes on, you, you have to know how to work oh, on it. I'm driving the car, I hear ticking noise, I'm like, oh, okay, I know what's wrong with it. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Same thing with the motorcycles. You mm -hmm. feel the vibration, you feel the, you hear the noise. You know, Look out for a noise, forward. where it's coming from. And you'll recognize the motor, then all of a sudden you hear a different noise, and be like, okay, well, where's that coming from? That's yeah. Not, 
our normal motor noise, yeah, you know? Yeah. For sure, we man. We talked about that the other day with Albert Fight. <laughs> like I said, if, if I were to get a motorcycle, it would be a cafe. Right? Cafe? I already have ideas of how I would do it. I, you know, as far as the d design tank. Hey, no better time than now, man. I mean, not not now as not now, but I mean in this time, bro. I don't know if I ever get to it, though. Hey, look around to it. You never know. Might be the best mistake you ever made. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name again? Jose. Jose, again, oh. nice to meet you. Jason. And go ahead and let your nephew know, man. And let him know, though, that like, man, that that part goes a long way. Only because right now I'm just getting rid of this stuff to make room and to make rent and all that stuff. But like, it's an honest living, and he's he's a part of something bigger than just like you know paying rent, man. It really helps. So I appreciate the deal. And uh, what's that say right here? Unaffiliated. Oh, it's these guys. Oh yeah, that's our little channel thing. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys are all from Buena Park? Uh, I think like five, six of us are, but the rest are just from Connecting Cities. So yeah, for context, uh, I had someone message me online for a part that I was selling. As I said, I was selling uh, parts to kind of, you know, recoup some cash and get by. Um, as you saw, most of what was made off of this deal right there actually went to go help another gentleman earlier today. And I want this video to remind people the power of perspective and that uh, life is really only what you make it. Life is a beautiful thing. If, if you're breathing, you're doing better than the next guy who's, you know, six feet deep. So we'll get it going right now.